I'd like to read you a story uh, that I wrote while I was attending college uh, 10 or 12 years ago, obviously uh, late in life. <clears throat> I, I like to write in, in different styles and try different things uh, rather than just the same way all the time. And, and uh, what I had thought of, I've loved uh, Mr. Theodore Geisel's stories uh, ever since our kids were little, Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> And uh, I thought he was a genius for what he came up with there. Uh, but it seemed that uh, the popularity had kind of diminished a lot, <clears throat> at least during this period of time that, that, uh, that I wrote this. And what I thought would maybe rekindle some interest was to uh, have the cat come back and, and visit um, the girl in the story uh, when she was a mother and had kids of her own. So that's what I did. I wrote this story and uh, actually sent it to him and the um, publisher didn't think it was well they kind of threatened to sue me uh, so I said okay fine and I didn't do anything but I changed the character he's now not a cat um, and left the rest of the story the same and I just wanted to share it uh, maybe you can let me know what you think of it <coughs> um, <coughs> if others can get some enjoyment out of it great uh, and if uh, they hear it um, Mr. Geisel's uh, widow she got plenty of money I'm sure but uh, I think this would be a, a new layer for them of popularity <coughs> if they treated it in uh, that manner <coughs> but anyway sorry for the cough <coughs> <coughs> Anyway, I called this uh, One Rainy Day. <clears throat> a day off from work, so I thought I would make. Yummy cookies for all. Yes, some cookies I'd bake. Some chocolate and nuts I stirred in real quick. I stirred and I stirred till the dough was real thick. Then into the oven on a big shiny pan, some scrumptious yum cookies. Oh, what a fun plan. I baked and I baked until I was through. I just started to taste one when I heard a faint moo. No cows in the city, I thought, but just then the sound came more clearly. The sound came again. I peered out the window, looked left and looked right. Out there on my sidewalk was such a strange sight. I jumped a big jump and yiped a big yipes. Right there by my porch stood a cow with green stripes. I rubbed both my eyes and went straight to the door to open it slightly. Just a crack, but no more. I turned the knob slowly. My hand shook with fright. I opened it carefully till the chain pulled real tight. Right there on my porch, strange sight number two was a baboon with a name tag whose writing said, Lou, well, he didn't look dangerous. Of that I had hope. He stood there just grinning with the cow on a rope. This baboon looked different, this fellow named Lou, with wavy blonde hair and one orange shoe. We stopped here to see you. And he grinned a big grin. Oh, is that cookies I smell? And he rubbed twice his chin. Then I looked past and saw the cow now so clear. She had green striped boots and a bow on one ear. He patted her head as she swished her long tail. She gives peppermint milk said Lou with a wink. 
in a green striped pail. My mouth fell wide open, my mind it did race. Said Lou with raised finger, uh, there's dough on your face. I wiped it right quick, cheek one and cheek two. The baboon just kept grinning. The striped cow said, Moo. Then I said very firmly as I stood up real tall, You two can't come in here. No, no, not at all. I've no time to play with a baboon or a cow. You can't, he said firmly. You're the mother here now. We don't play with parents. Don't give that a thought. We're not here for you. No, most certainly not. This Lou saw my wonder. So explaining right then, we play games with children who aren't over ten. But we'll visit your children, child one, two, and three, on some rainy day. Oh, what games there will be. <clears throat> we'll play such fun things. We'll run and we'll slide. We'll stack things up tall. And all there inside. With foopas and whoopas and two-ended flutes. We'll make the cow dance. In her green striped boots. We'll take apart puzzles. Tie pretzels on strings. Until we are tired from so many fun things. We'll stand on our heads, we'll sing and we'll dance. We'll dress up your hamster in bright yellow pants. We'll run and we'll run till our legs feel all loose. Then we'll sit down with cookies and whistle nut juice. But we'll get up again and bounce a big ball. We'll stand on our toes and try not to fall. In my house, Bring something in here as big as a cow. I said as I shook my head, no. I just will not have it. That I just won't allow. No runnings and bumpings, no tooting on flutes. I won't have a cow, not with muddy striped boots. Oh no, clucked the baboon. From all of our play there won't be a mess at the end of the day. I'll bring out my woozer. I'll drive it right in. Then all will be tidy. So tidy again. I crossed both my arms and furrowed my brow. You're not getting in here, not then, and not now. But Lou waved his hand as he tugged on the cow, then said, Surely we'll be back, but we must leave right now. And he held up his watch, which had wind up for power, and said, pointing to it, It's fifteen to the hour, But we'll be back some rainy day. Huh. I knew as he said it, That it might just come true. But I just shut the door, As the cow mooed a last moo. And they were gone. Then one day it happened. It rained, <coughs> and there was no school, and I was at work, and I wondered, and I worried. Had the strange pair come to visit, would they ignore my firm rule? Hmm. I thought of the noise. Would there be a big mess? Would that cow dance around in my blue fancy dress? I needed to go home. I raced to my house and rushed in so quick. 
No, I wouldn't have nonsense. Not one little trick. Hmm. But all there was quiet. Yes, all was just so. But three kids were smiling. Just what did they know? I wondered. So I ran up the stairs and peered down the hall. Hmm. And then, whew, a big whew. No others were there. Nobody at all. And I was so happy. <coughs> but then in the morning, with no time to waste, I had a quick bowl of cereal, and I was certain that the milk that I used had a peppermint taste. They had been here. In an instant, I knew. Hmm. But did the kids tell their mother? Hmm. Well, if you were those kids, just what would you do? The end. Thank you.